Hi, welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to organize your applications on the Windows 10 start menu using tiles and folders. So if I open up my start menu, you can see I've got all my applications organized. I've got all my Microsoft Word stuff here, I've got all my Photoshop and Adobe products here, and then um, I've got these folders like all my web browsers. So I kind of like to keep things organized. So when I'm looking in here, I know that all of this is open office and libre office. So I can access things very, very quickly based on this structure. And as you, you know, use, use your Windows computer more, you learn this structure. You pretty much know what these icons are and what's contained within. These ones over here are not within folders. So these are just separate applications that I use quite often. And I want to show you how to do this layer, how to create a folder and how to just drag tiles and group them together. So one thing Windows 10 doesn't let you do is drag the same application more than once. So I have to look for applications that I haven't used already. So let's take Audacity, for example. And if I drag that into the browser or into the start menu here, it will drop it here. I might want to drop it down a bit more, but it's going to kind of uh, stick to a logical position. And sometimes you want to drag it up a little bit to close the gap above. So you can just drag it up a little bit and then it will be sitting with this group, you could say, right? But let's drag it down for a minute. So it's away from the top group. And now it's just one application sitting here. And then we could take something like the alarm clock and put it next to it. And then we've got two side by side. But normally I'll group applications like this that, that make logical sense. So this might have been all audio. But I need to work with um, um, some of the uh, applications I haven't already dragged before. So if, you, if I try and drag the calculator, it says it's already been pinned. I have to drag things that haven't been used yet uh, to demo this. So I'm just going to drag some random stuff. Um, and then we'll try and organize that in a moment. So let's drag this up. Uh, let's see, Inkscape. And then finally, we'll drag the maps here, for example. So this is kind of the equivalent of what you see above. Now, let's turn this section into a little pop option like this a folder so a folder of uh, content so all we do is take one of the icons and drag and drop it on top of the other and we're just going to continue to do that so just drag them uh, into this folder like this and now we just have one section and this one section could have been it's not factually correct it doesn't have all like audio things in here but it could have been all audio things for example in this uh, little folder you can right click on it resize it and you can make it like wide so you can have wide and you can fit more of them in there but sometimes you run out of space in there right so you can have it wide like this but if you do run out of space it doesn't really matter because when you click on this you can see there's three six nine in here but when i click on there there's way more than nine in there already so it, for me that doesn't matter too much um it's just knowing what's in that folder is more important you can right click resize let's say it's a large it'll take a larger space like this so maybe this um, like this Adobe one, uh, let's just resize this to small. So now it's sitting as a small icon. You can group them together now. So you can maybe plug that in a little corner here and it belongs with all this stuff. So you can really experiment with it. If you want to get rid of one of these, you can't right click and delete it. It just doesn't work like that. So you have to open up the folder, right click on each application and then unpin them. So you just unpin them like this. Let's try and unpin this one. Uh, unpin and unpin and then unpin now it will be removed so that's pretty much how you do the layouts right so i could take this adobe one put it down here and let's just drag it up a little bit to here and if i drag it down one more actually when i move my mouse cursor over it if there's a gap in between i can click here and name it so i can call it something like adobe for example, Adobe software, and when I hit the enter key, that title will sit above it. That's kind of another way to understand what's in the folder, but I'll pretty much know what's already in there. So to remove that title, we should be able to click and just click the X and then click out again, or just hit the enter key and that gets rid of the title. You can't have a title when the tiles are sitting very close together. So you can't have a title, there must be a gap in between them. We can right click resize and set to large and now we can see all the applications in here a bit easier. I think that's kind of a bit better. I think maybe that's a bit too big. Let's set it to wide. I think that looks better, right? And we can click on it and it will expand and show me all the applications. So I might leave that one there for now. And we'll just chuck a WinWare up here for now. So that's pretty much how I organize 
all of the tiles on my Windows 10 start menu. Um, feel free to experiment with that. You can actually change the width of this, right? So you can resize and change the width. You can have it very narrow or you can have it wide. Be a bit careful with this because sometimes it kind of screws up the layout. So I like to leave it wide like this. And normally I just hit the Windows key on my desktop computer on my keyboard. So I just hit the Windows key. Then I can see everything here quite quickly and get to the applications that I need. So I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.